and God, even our God, shall bless us. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Hallelujah. I have joy, 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 You are the God of the third day. You do incredible things on the third day. You are the Trinity. You are the God of Trinity. We give you praise. We know tonight is a remarkable night. We honor you. We appreciate you for your fun. We give you praise. Thank you for accepting our praise. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. So wrap up this meeting tonight, O Lord. We thank you for this anointing section. You are going to anoint us, and the oil is going to produce supernatural results in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. So we give Amen. Amen. Please be seated in God's presence. Hallelujah. Just a few minutes, and then we shall travel close. So we thank God for the first night, we thank God for the second night, we thank God for the third night, yesterday night was awesome, hallelujah, glorious time in God's presence, the exposition of the word of God was so powerful, what the Lord did in our midst, and we are expecting harvest upon harvest, hallelujah, we are expecting supernatural things this month, this month, with this month, because we kept on announcing it throughout this season, that if we are God's children, then we ought to be producing supernatural results. Because the people of old, the Spirit of God comes from them, and they will do mighty things for God, supernatural things. What about now that the Spirit of God dwells on the inside of us? We need to do more than what the people of old, what they did. No wonder Jesus said, that yeah, we are even going to do greater works than what he did. Hallelujah. But we need the Holy Spirit to do that. We need the power of the Spirit. The Lord said yesterday that one of the things that makes us different from the unbelievers is the power of God. Is the presence of God. Is the glory of God. If we are not manifesting the supernatural, we will become exactly like unbelievers. People who does not know God. Every child of God is our heritage as children of the living God to manifest signs and wonders and miracles. Jesus said, These signs shall follow those that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, speak in new tongues, lay their hands on the sea, and they recover. Even when they eat something that is deadly, it will not hurt them. All those things are not natural, they are all supernatural things. That is the expectation of the Father from every one of us to manifest and to be commanded. Is supernatural. Somebody say amen. amen. That is why we are trusting God, believing God for the Holy Spirit. You know, everything is not supposed to be ordinary, ordinary, ordinary. If everything in our lives is just ordinary, 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 then we are not different from the people of the world. The Bible says, until they see signs and wonders, they will not believe. 
until they walk, until they see. Until they see that we are different. Until they see God distinguishing us from among the unbelievers. He said they will not believe. So we need something that will make us to believe. And that personality is already on the inside of us. The Holy Spirit that will make us completely different from the world. To make us different from the world. So we're trusting God for the supernatural. Supernatural turnarounds, supernatural harvests, supernatural breakthroughs. You are all just, you are all things becoming different. That the world will say, ah, why is the whole thing different? Why are we not getting the kind of result you're getting? Why? Why are you different? And then you, that is, you, you have mouths to tell them who is doing it in your life. How they do it. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So I think tonight, I just, well, just in the third night, we are just going to anoint ourselves. And then we, with that anointing, we are going to go into the last section of praise to produce, you know, that's going to be a seal upon the service tonight. If you look at Psalm 67, Psalm 67, from verse 3, let the people praise thee. Oh God, let the people, let all the people praise thee. Oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise thee. Oh God, let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Yes. And God, even our God, shall bless us. God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Hallelujah. That is something supernatural. When God blesses you, you know, in a, a way that the whole world will see that, say, wow, we have not seen this time before. We have not seen this time before. That is the plan of God. That is the will of God. So give us a kind of blessing that the ends of the earth will fear him. In Psalm 126, the Bible says, when he turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like, damn, that's really. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue was singing. Then the people of the world noticed it. Say, then they sin among the hidden. The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are we are glad. That blessing must be noticed by the people of the world. Our manifestation must be seen by the people of the world. And then they will begin to change their world, they begin to change their mouths from the way they are seen us, from what they are saying about us. They begin to change their language. Like, like the change in the days of the Apostle Paul. When they saw, when they thought that Paul was, you know, will be killed by a viper. When they saw that the viper could not kill Paul. When they saw Paul shoot the viper into the fire. The Bible said they were expecting that Paul will swell up and die. And when they saw that their expectation did not come to pass, they changed their mind. The Bible said, they said, no. This man is not a God, man. This man is a God. 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 Every arrow we have done against them is not getting them. Everything we have done against them is not getting them. These people are different. That is what God wants to do in our lives. That's what He wants to turn us into. As believers, we must manifest the supernatural to be like God, to be like our Father, to talk like our Father, to live like our Father, to live like Him. So one of the things that brings about the supernatural harvest is praise. Praise is the sequel for harvest. The Bible says, put in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. One of the sickle you need to put in to harvest is praise. The more you praise, the more the blessings come down. The more you praise, the more you manifest the glory of God. The more you praise, the more you see the acts of God in your life. The more you praise, something happens when we praise Him. The Bible says, He is fearful 
Who is like unto thee, O God, who is like unto thee? Among the gods who is like thee, you are glorious in holiness and fearful in prizes. Every time you want to see the fearful acts of God, praise him. You want to see him cause situations around in the way that people will wonder, praise him. He got fearful things in praises, fearful things in praises. So supernatural harvest will answer to high praises of God. Let's say people praise him. They shall the earth. The earth will begin to form its blessing. They ask, oh my God, heaven will bring their blessing and they ask to bring the blessing. And the whole world, you notice and say, wow, of the truth, their God has done great things for them. Somebody say, amen. Hallelujah. So the anointing they are going to receive tonight is, what we say, for a rapid response. Rapid response. Rapid response. We are seeing the new month. This new month is loaded. Loaded for us. The month is pregnant. About to deliver. Also and glorious things for us. So the anointing is sometimes. Where you see a woman that is pregnant. And the baby is not coming forth. They induce the pregnancy. So that they take a come. So the anointing is to induce us tonight. For us to begin to produce. The supernatural begin to manifest and begin to appear fruits unto God. To appear fruits unto God, that is the number one. That is the number one supernatural harvest. The number one harvest is the harvest of the souls of men. That's the number one harvest. That's the number one harvest. Because if God said that for every single soul that really repents, there is party in heaven, why don't I do something that will make God to me? To impact in heaven. That's one of the things I remember that makes you to go out and tell people about Christ to win souls. When I remember that, wow, if any soul gets saved, God, the Almighty God, will jump it up. A man of God saw a vision, like a, a, a true life vision, or is he a dream of what, is, what happens in heaven? He said, In heaven, there are people where, you know, they share. The same one is there, they talk about the things that is happening in the world. He said, somebody came and was telling to say before God, ah, this your son just built a mighty house, mighty beautiful house. The God was so moved. They say, ah, Father God, this one just bought a beautiful car. God was so moved. They say, ah, this your child just built an estate in the world. Ah, they are glorifying your name. God was so moved. And one just came and said, ah, Father God, this is your daughter, just one soul. God stood up for his throne. For one soul. Material things can move God. The soul, one soul made God to stand up. One soul made him to stand up and begin to praise, and begin to rejoice, begin to celebrate in heaven. One soul, one soul, one soul, one soul. One, 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 and that is what provokes your harvest. The Bible says, He that repents, receive it wages. He that repents, he that repents the harvest. He that repents, he that winneth so, receive it wages. That is God pays you. You get paid for saving so. God, God pays you. God pays you. Daniel said, Those. That we saw, they will shine like the brightness of the firmament. I love that one. They that talk many to righteousness, that they will shine like the brightness of the firmament. My God, that is glorification. That's the mighty glorification. Those that say so. So that's the number one supernatural harvest. That this month will not end without one of us, any of us saying that I, I spoke to somebody about Jesus. I said the soul this month that this one must not finish. It will be bad that this one will finish without somebody say that ah, I brought his soul for Jesus. It will be nice. It's a point of delivery. It's a point of fruitfulness. Every child of God, you are pregnant instead of his locked up souls. You need to give back to them. Bathing them, bathing souls, bath them in the place of prayer, 
Bat them in the place of praise. Give birth to them in the place of praise. Put it, you are sick. Oh, because harvest is right. The harvest is right. So the anointing is to empower us, is to help us. By the time you open your mouth and talk, tell them before you know it, they say, I'm going to pray for us. I want to give my life to Jesus. That's what the anointing does. That's what the Holy Ghost does. He's the one that will convict the man of sin. He's the one that will prepare them for you. You just bring in the harvest. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Glory be to the Lamb of God. So praise does the work. Praise does the work. So we're going to receive the oil, the empowerment to do this work. And it's going to be a seal to everything that we have been receiving from the first night. It's going to be a seal, you know, of all these blessings. The same material blessing, the supernatural blessing. All those things are in most of this month. The Lord is going to confirm his word and he will perform the counsel of his messenger in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you tonight. Lord, as we anoint ourselves today, let the Holy Spirit come upon us and afresh to induce us, to empower us, to prepare us, oh Lord, for this harvest of this month. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We let's do that quickly because of our time.